So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you what the infinite light does. So I've got this simple Omni light in my scene. And um, if you move an Omni light, the position basically does make a difference. Um, you can see the shadow kind of on this side, on this cone. And if I move it, the shadow kind of moves to the other side, depending on where this light is. And just go to the top view. And if I cast shadows, basically the shadows kind of, um, because it's an omni light, the shadows kind of spread out. The thing with an infinite light is, one, the position doesn't make any difference to the kind of shadows on the object. It doesn't matter where you put this. Um, it's always going to have the same kind of effect on the scene. One thing that does make a difference is rotation. So if I rotate this, you can see the lighting in the scene change now. So it's uh, pretty much like sunlight. So don't get confused by the position. Like this is just a gizmo just to help you kind of within the viewport. It's not actually an accurate representation of where the light is. And if I render the scene, you'll notice the shadows don't spread out like the Omni light. They pretty much kind of stay pointing in one direction. So if I just rotate this a different direction and render, maybe look from above slightly. Yeah, you can basically see the light, uh, the shadows pointing in exactly the same direction. But with an Omni light, we get kind of a spread. So that's what an infinite light is. And uh, the sunlight is basically just like an infinite light, but with some extra controls added on. So I'm just gonna create a sunlight in the scene. And if we click this tag here, we basically get to choose a day, a time, and we even get a latitude and longitude to enter uh, coordinates. So if you go on Google Maps and get the location for London, you can enter that in here and set the time and day. And it should give you like an accurate kind of um, sunlight depending on these settings. So I'm just going to try the settings today. And it kind of looks like uh, the sun setting. And another thing to uh, note with the sunlight is west to east is basically along the x-axis. Um, so let me try um, maybe 10 o'clock. So 10 o'clock is the morning and the shadows are pointing this way, which means the sun's kind of over in the east. And then if I set this to uh, 1900, 19 hours, that's too dark. Try 17. Wow, that made a huge difference. I think it's slightly exaggerating. Um, but yeah, the shadows uh, begin to cast this way, uh, which suggests the sun is in the west. And if you want to kind of change those coordinates, all you have to do is just select the sun object and hit Alt G to put it into a null, and then you can basically rotate that null, and that will change the kind of west to east position. So that's one workaround. So that's a very brief look at the infinite light and the sunlight, and uh, thanks for watching.